I put butter on my toast and jelly on my toast. I spread it all together and, and I put it in my mouth. And like we play tag and hide and go seek. I'm Peter Pan and I find a the boat. When I put my hands in my mouth, I can't serve. I collapse so loud. Can be a friend, can be a friend, can be a friend too. Can be a friend, can be a friend, can be a friend too. There she is! I really like this game. Yeah, I like it too. 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 Yeah, I like it I found that I really loved this age group. There's a really warm environment in the classroom. Um, there's nice, low lighting spaces for the children to play and rest and be creative. And it didn't look like a classroom at all. So that made me very comfortable. I'm so passionate about it. I love watching those little kids grow. Their minds are like, rolling at 100 miles per hour, and I'm there to help it go even faster. In the infant classrooms, we have iPads that we have an app that we can communicate with the parents throughout the day. When we, when we first moved here, um, our daughter was uh, four months old, and my wife was still breastfeeding, and so that app uh, that allowed her to communicate with the teachers over the course of the day was uh, particularly important and useful because she could get uh, notices when she needed to come across campus because she was um, about a half mile away. That initial separation uh, and is can be hard. You know, it's like, okay, I'm here. They're excited, and then, oh, wait a second, you're leaving. So we also help parents with um, coming up with their own routine with their child. The teachers are really passionate about making sure that everything that happens in a child's classroom is really appropriate for their age and there's a good mix of taking care of the child's wellness along with what they're learning in the classroom. It's not just taking care of your kids, it's learning, it's growing, all the experiences that they get to have. It's We just had a new child start in our room and his mom was amazed just to see it, what all of the kids can do. Several parents that hang out in the morning at drop-off and they will stay with their child and play, you know, for a good 10 minutes. And I think that's good to make them feel that this is like their home, their second home. In the one-year-old room, they wear shoes, they're outside, they get to play and touch everything, and so it's, a, it's definitely a new world, I would say. They wash their hands when they get in the classroom, they wash their hands before lunch, after any diaper changing, um, they wash hands when they come inside, it's just, and they know that. Just the way that the teachers engage with the children, they kind of build um, comfort and familiarity into the classroom. You know, they sit together around a round table, family style. Um, I think that, that that during breakfast and lunch is a really important process of building that community too, just learning how to sit together and talk together. We have a great trail to go back behind the building with animals. Sometimes we've, we've seen deer back there. We always let the kids explore like we don't hold back. They can do, they can touch whatever they want. Like, just wash your hands afterwards, obviously. One of my favorite aspects is all of the space that the children have to play outdoors. And that, that that's a really big emphasis of the center. What I value the most is how safe the environment is for our kids. Um, and you, you know, when you drop them off, you know that you're dropping them off in a caring and safe environment. Um, and, and that's not, you know, that's something that is actively man managed. You can build a close relationship with the teachers and, and they are really responsive to the individual needs of the students and the parents, as well as the administration. So you can uh, get to know them, they get to know you, they get to know your children, they, they sort of know how you 
where your anxieties are and what concerns you have for your child and they um, will discuss those with you and, and um, sort of in a formal way but also in a really informal way just to pick ups and drop off you'll have um, informal conversations about it and then uh, the, you have the uh, meetings where you sit down and formally talk about it as well. Um, bringing my heart to work is the best part of my day. Lunch time is over, then I go party, then I come back, wash your hands, then I take toothbrush, then I read a book, now it's nap time.